Woman burns down boyfriend's house after another woman answered the call. Mystery girl is a relative. You want to talk about jumping to conclusions? <laughs> no fact finding. Skip truth and go straight to consequences. A Texas woman, 23, was arrested after she allegedly set her boyfriend's house on fire during a jealous rage after discovering another woman had answered their FaceTime call, the mystery female turned out to be the boyfriend's relative. You don't have to lie, just tell her to come outside. It's my mom. <laughs> it's my grandmother, my aunt, my sister. Well, if you're not going to be honest with me, <laughs> Sineda Soto was taken into custody on Monday and faces felony charges for burglary and arson. Her bond was set at $100. $65,000. No one was hurt in the blaze, thank goodness, but the fire caused more than $50,000 in property damage. The bizarre ordeal, bizarre is a colorful word. The bizarre ordeal happened on Sunday when Soto became enraged that her bow may have been two timing her, broke into his San Antonio home, and stole some items before setting. <laughs> before setting the couch on fire that spread causing the home to become engulfed in flames a witness said ksat news reported because nobody has family members visit them around thanksgiving that's just crazy <laughs> as the house was burning soto then facetime our lover that showed an image of the burning couch. Oh, I hope your stuff is going to be okay, she said, as per the affidavit, before driving off in her gray Kia Optima with the items she had stolen. <laughs> what did she steal from the home? The person on the FaceTime call, who hasn't been revealed, turned out to be a relative of the boyfriend, the Brexer County Sheriff's Office said. The Brexer County Fire Marshal's Office respond to an arson call on Shepherd Road Around 1.45 a.m., the call was made by the home's owner. The typos in this paragraph is crazy. Get it together, Daily Mail. But it goes on to say that they have footage of her lighting the couch on fire, and there was a laundry basket filled with clothes that is seen toppled over, things that can help accelerate the fire. The fire caused hundreds of thousands of dollars in damages. If she knew nothing else, she knew that a mattress or a couch set on fire is extremely difficult to put out if you don't have the proper equipment and also clothes rags and stuff like that it's just nothing but attic kindling the fire marshal's office worked in conjunction with the brexer county sheriff's office on the arson investigation it is not clear if soto has been released but she has a pre-trial hearing set in december a report said if i'm her boyfriend or now ex-boyfriend <laughs> and she is let out of jail I need a phone call immediately because I need to know if she's not going to come and try to make up. <laughs>